two cowboys here at Barbecue on the Boat's annual barbecue competition. How long have you guys been going? This will be our 25th annual barbecue on the bow. A lot of the teams seem to be building their own barbecues. Teams can't find what they like, so they kind of design one that's unique to them. Like this bare steel barbecue over here, that's a unique barbecue. Or my smoking box, it's just different. We're doing an in-depth investigation this uh, this competition about the various barbecues people are using. So tell me mm -hmm. about yours, because you got probably the nicest, cleanest ones around. Why? Why? Because she makes me keep them clean. <laughs> <laughs> What's the key on a good smoker, in your opinion? Even heat, lots of smoke. This is probably our best barbecue. We have small pellets, we have big pellets, and then we have charcoal grills. Is that a little bit of a cheat to do the pellet thing, or don't you have to make well, real wood? That's it? the whole big thing. Is it cheating to do pellets or not? Is it lump charcoal? What is it? You know what? We just got to follow the rules. Which and is? The rule, and the rules were made to be breaking. <laughs> <laughs> so it uses charcoal, where these ones here, and you can put wood into it as well, charcoal and wood for flavoring. And then these ones here are just, uh, they're all pelleted, so they just use pellets. You start on the wood to get your flavor. You get some sleep while it tugs away on the pellets, yeah. Oh, you're a lazy. That's why I say it's a lazy job sometimes to be in the barbecue business. Gravity fed charcoal and then you feed uh, chunks of wood for smoke or flavoring. Mm -hmm. So Fire. it's digitally controlled and then you can feed it with oxygen so you get your temperature exactly yes, right. Yes, yes. And probes into the meats and it's even Wi-Fi. I get a thing on my phone. It's like, hey, your meat is done or you can change the temperature for your phone. That's how lazy I am. You have probably one of the widest selections of smokers available on this whole yard. Which one do you say? If you have to choose one, which one? If I had to choose one, for I would choose that one, simply that one, or the Traeger. Any the little the baby one. Style grill, just because for you, utilitarian, I don't always have five hours to work on something, but I can always turn that on, throw my ribs on, come back, throw a brisket on, throw pulled pork on. It's not about gear for you, is it? Well, I'm brand new to the game, and... Uh, is this giving you away then? Well, I think that this is the in-between uh, if you were new to the game and you didn't want to have like an electric smoker and you wanted to go to like the traditional like wood fire smoke, um, this is kind of the closest thing you can get. You probably have one of the biggest ones around, you know that? Oh? You're going for size? Well, <laughs> we always uh, go big or go home, isn't it? This doesn't seem to be other guys around with one of these. Nobody has them yet in Canada. I think there's only me and one other guy competing in Ontario using them. It's a new style cooker. They cook a lot faster, a lot hotter. They have a lot more flavor because it's one of the only smokers that allows the fat to drip into the fire that you're cooking over, which gives you that wonderful, steaky, grilled, flipping awesome flavor. Like, it's, it's really good. Rain or shine, I run these things down to about minus 15 here in town. After that, I just don't want pizza that bad. We are sold on this on the on the smoking box. How has it been going with you guys in the smoking box on the circuit? Really good. The mm -hmm. first thing I need to know is why do you guys build your own smoker if there's so many options out on the market? We're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. Uh, we anything? couldn't find what we wanted on the market. We wanted something unique, and we wanted it. To not cost a million dollars, and then it wound up costing a million dollars. Yeah, I wanted to say that last one didn't work because no, I've seen no. what you've engineered here. This is a piece of art, if nothing else. Can it cook though? It's cook like a, like a hot damn. And what do you call it though? Well, we don't have a name for it. It's just our cooker right now. Yeah. Jeez, this is a cooker. <laughs> yeah, there's a fucking maybe, big maybe cooker. Maybe your, uh, your uh, viewers could pick a name for us. and. All right, so that's the challenge. You need to come up with a name for this beast behind us. And uh, if you get a really good name, these guys might invite you over for a barbecue. Is that good? Guaranteed. Perfect. Yeah. What we're getting here is a whole lot of ingenuity. We've got a, a pizza oven. We've got a steampunk smoker. You've seen some of the amazing things here today. And the best of it all is these guys are having an awful lot of fun and you know what they're making something which they're proud of and which you can share with their friends. Mm -hmm.